Hey guys, BBC Three's Thomas Gray here, coming at you from a new selfie stick. Um, just thought I'd sh hang on, I'm not doing that right. Um, just thought I'd share with you an email I've had from BBC Three regarding the future of Lad Ventures. Uh, I'll just this, this is it. I'm, I'll just read it now. Uh, Dear Thomas, firstly, thank you for your hard work in making the first two episodes of Lad Ventures. Their words. However, having asked for edgy online content, we feel slightly let down. The comments we've seen on social media have been medium to poor. In order for the series to continue, it must resonate with our youthful demographic. This is what I've been thinking the whole time, so it's nice to know. I've set you up with a new assistant, Ibby, picture attached. He'll be in charge of the new direction and look of the show. We're also thinking your next episode should concentrate on something more edgy, grime music, for example. Please get it right this time. We've got faith in you. Good luck. Martin, head of BBC Three, going online. And then they've attached a picture of... I just showed you this picture of my assistant, Ibby. Seems like a cool dude. So yeah, it's, it's nice to know we're on the same page, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this. I think this is, this is what I wanted. This is, this is what I wanted. I'm Thomas Gray, your guide to male subcultures up and down the UK. This episode, Grime. Grime music is a genre of music that has its roots in England. It emerged from Manchester in the early 2000s and is basically the British version of hip-hop. I headed to its spiritual home to find out if there's a little bit more to this underground genre than initially meets the eye. Fucking shit. <laughs> My assistant Ibby arranged for me to interview Manchester's sleazy F baby. I like sleazy's music and he seemed like the perfect person to tell me what makes a grime track. Sleazy, Tom. Yes, bro, you good, yeah? Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm here with Sleazy F, baby. My baby, my baby, my Sleazy baby. Nah, pause. Like sleazy F, baby. Or oh, Sleazy F, or like, you know what I'm okay. saying? It's not gonna... Okay. Yeah, so... I'm here with my baby, Sleazy F, no, baby? No, 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 okay. pause. Just Sleazy F. Yeah, like... Uh, uh, okay. I'm here with Sleazy F, baby. <sighs> Who's big on the Manchester grime scene? No. Grime or grime? It's, the section's called Grime or Grime. Okay. So I'm going to read um, uh, the instructions off the back of a Dettel bottle and then some grime lyrics and you've got to tell me which is grime and which is, which is uh, grime. Do you understand? Yeah, they, yeah, go on. Burning sensation. Is that grime or grime? Burning it's grime. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Let me just give me a second. Okay. Large areas of the body. I'm gonna say grime. Both. Correct. Pine oil. One of Wh them. Which one? Grime. You win it, you win the prize. <laughs> So I'm going to read some lyrics of yours that I found particularly poignant and I just want to see what you think of them right, and what cool. you can say. Get sleazy sick of your lines so cheesy. Sorry, Daddy, but I'm not that easy. I'm not going to sit here while you circle jerk it and work it. I'm going to take it back where my man and my girls is. Sleazy, get sleazy, get sleazy. What does that mean? That's your song Kesha by Sleazy. No, Sleazy by Kesha. Oh. Yeah, I didn't write these. I've been... I've got an assistant with me, so... What makes a grime track? I don't do grime. But just answer the question as if you do. If you, as if you do. I don't do grime. Safe. Safe, yeah. Right, we do yeah. Yeah, but yeah. What's happening? You're watching Lad Ventures on BBC Three. It's Clipson, Slude and Mafia. Don't know. Yeah, Adventures. <laughs> Without naming names, I've been made to look a total fool by Ibby, having spent the afternoon pointlessly interviewing a man who wasn't actually a grime musician. So I took matters into my own hands and headed to the grimiest nightclub I could find in Lonely Planet. I was about to taste the Manchester grime scene in its purest form, something I'd been trying to do for almost nine hours by this point. Hey guys, I'm here um, at the Hidden Nightclub in Manchester. This is the backstage full of some pretty intimidating people, so 
thought maybe we'll go in and just ask them some questions. So guys, what do you think of grime? Like, uh, obviously it's a big thing in Manchester. It's a huge thing in Manchester. Oh, it's not oh, shit. Oh, it's not a big thing in Manchester? Shit. Uh, you, no, it's a London thing. It's a London thing? Uh, Looking around, I should have realised I was in the wrong place. My trip to Manchester was a complete and utter waste of time. As it turned out, grime actually has its roots in London. Like a captain of a boat with the wind in his journalistic sail, I headed south in pursuit of what was quickly becoming my own Moby Dick, by which I mean information regarding grime music. It became good for once and put me in touch with a grime rapper called Craze. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? I'm here with um, Craze from uh, the Slough Dem, uh, here in the home of grime. Where is it? Well, East, where? London. East London. Craze, I'm a lion, I came for the cookies. Craze, I'm a lion, I came for the cookies. This ain't your empire, your line, your rookie. This ain't your empire, your line, your rookie. Absent bars, living book plays hooky. Absent bars, living book plays hooky. Is hip hop the same as grime? No, hip hop's hip hop. Yeah. Grime's grime. Two different things, two different BPMs, two different styles. So obviously I know grime's 140 beeps per mile, but... Who? Uh, beeps per mile, is it? Beeps. What is it, 140... Beats. 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 Per... Minute. Minute. Yeah. That's... Rapper, rapper. So we've got a fun little segment now for you, Craze. Um, you're going to absolutely love this. Um, it's, it's called... Um, you are a rap... You describe yourself as a rapper, of course. I never did. Uh, well, play, uh, play along anyway. If you don't mind, um, it's it's called Rapper Rapper, where I wrap uh, you up in this, and we'll sort of talk about the history of rap or something. Um, no, there's no way I can I can rap you. No, I'm not gonna no, do that. no, no, is no. it not? You can forget that. How about I rap you? Oh, it's called rap to rap wrapped by a rapper. Of course, yeah, we can do it. It's fun, isn't it? I need some... Yeah, leave it at that now, maybe. So what is it that got you into grime? I mean, what, what sort of kicked it off for you? My favourite MC was um, a man called Esco, the Escobar, who passed away. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. But he was like a main part of why I actually started doing music, I started to spit. Um, I was wondering if you could do a favour for me. Okay. My sister's been uh, she's been a bit of a bit annoying recently. What do you want to do to her? I would like you to write some really offensive lyrics about her. I'll give you some information, and you can say whatever you like. She's called Alice. Alice. She's blonde. She's 21, and she owes me 50 pounds. Um, if you would just slag her off to the camera, that would be great. Okay. Fucking Alice, moving weird like you got a wand. Taking people's money, you running off, why are you trying to abscond? Listen, I don't care, you ain't pretty because you're blonde. She'll get the message. Yeah. It's harsh, but... It's got to be harsh now, it's a cruel world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're watching Lad Adventures on BBC3, Selects Mandea, Double XL, Slew Them, Slew Them Mafia. You don't know. Lad Adventures. At last, I was finally with the grime expert. Hallelujah. Craze introduced me to his crew, the Slew Dem Mafia. The boys decided to take me for some delicious jerk chicken, and I seized the opportunity to ask them something that had been on my mind for a while by this point. How do I go about recording my own grime song? What type of track are you interested in making? Like, what? what, like what? <sighs> Probably the BPM thing you were talking about earlier, or...? No, no, no. I mean, like, the theme. It, you're going to need your MC name. Well, anyway, my name's Thomas Gray, so... Thomas Gray. Tom Grease. Tom Grease? Tom Grease. Tom Grease. Tom Grease. Like Tom Grease with the hair, yeah. like... Uh, no, 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 no. Well, we've got a little studio for tonight still, so... See how it goes. Well, you have the... What, that I could come and...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually. Eat your food first. Yeah. Things were about to hit the fan. I went with Slew Dem Mafia down to their local recording studio to hopefully compose a tune or two. And this is where you're gonna make it happen. This is where you're gonna show down. Um, this is for when we're finished. A little present for us all. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, I was thinking maybe we'll, well. Yeah, when we get the song, put a CD in there. Um, we don't use CDs. You've got high hopes. You don't use CDs. <laughs> don't use CDs. 
What do you use? USBs. Hard drives. <laughs> Stop me if I'm wrong, and obviously I know all about the BPMs and stuff, but I was thinking maybe a Spanish guitar kind of theme. Uh, what was that? I don't know about Spanish, but Spanish get How about some dirty bass? Dirty some bass. dirty bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty bass for your face. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Spanish guitar would add something, but I see what you mean. I do see what you mean about it. Yeah. Lad Ventures. So, where about you from, bro? So, I'm from uh, Felix, though. It's a small town. It's by the sea. People people go sailing. Um, there's farmers. So where we at? We at Felix Stowe. Yeah, you just write some random words down. Felix Stowe. Okay. Felix Stowe. Yeah. Um, the docks. Yes. Um, old people. Lots of old people. Old people. Retirement. Felix hoes, got bare cats in a Felix nose. You know we don't dress in no Felix clothes. Cat rub it and feel me though. Tom Green! Tom Green. Tom Green! Where's Tom Green? Green! Green! Again! You know you say Tom Grease! Guys, I just, um, I'm really sorry that I've been difficult to work Don't worry, Tom, just get it right. Grease! Get it right, make Grease. it happen to us by getting Grease. it. Grease! Hey, now you gotta slap yourself a couple of times. Wake up, slap wake up, yeah, now come on. That, this is what I'm saying, come on. This is it. This is that preparation. Wake up. No, we're too able with it. No more slap, bro. No slap. Oh, <laughs> Don't rap with me. I'll bust ya. I'll run you down in my tractor. All over the beat. I'm dirty. Can't catch me. I'll catch ya. You might be left with a fracture. Better be watching my stature. Cause I get bitches like Margaret Thatcher. Tom Grease! <laughs> <laughs> It was 3 a.m. and having nailed my recording session, I headed with the boys to a local legitimate radio station to debut my brand new hit single. Uh, London, how's it going? Obviously you can't fly. Um, we're going to be spitting some bars for you right now uh, with my crew, uh, Sludem. Sludem! Felix Stone with my Felix hoes. Got bare cats in the Felix nose. You know we don't dress in no Felix clothes. Catch my jet drop through with those. Tom Green! Don't rap with me, I'll bash ya. I'll run you down in my tractor. All over the beat, I'm dirty. Can't catch me, I'll catch ya. You might be left with a fracture. Better be watching my stature, cause I got bitches like Margaret Thatcher. In the end, my exploration into the UK grime scene could not have gone better. After a few annoying slip-ups in the north, all the fault of Ibby, the Sludem crew in London welcomed me with open arms and I felt completely 100% comfortable in their environment. Aside from that, the major conclusion I drew is that grime artists are people too, just like you and me, albeit much better at talking quickly. Anyway, until next time, this has been Lad Ventures 2.0.